There are a few built-in functions in Python that can be used to transform each item of an iterable. When I say iterable, it can be any object that can be looped over, like list, tuple, string, range, etc. Let's see some of the built-in functions and learn how lambda function can be used there. We have two built-in functions, map and filter. Map function is used to apply a function on each element of the iterable and return a map object. Using typecasting, the map object can be converted into a required iterable. The syntax of map function is it takes two arguments. The first is the function that will be applied on each of the items. The second is the iterable itself. Let's say you have a list of numbers. and you want to increment each number by one. We can use map function as we are going to transform every item of this list. So use map function and what is the first uh, argument? It's the function. So uh, when I say increment each number, it's simply adding one to each of these numbers. So in this case, I can use a lambda function because it's a simple operation. So lambda and it, every iteration will pass one argument, which is nothing but this element in the list. And what are we doing to this element? We are incrementing it by one. The second argument is the iterable, which is nothing but numbers. Let's store this in a variable. Incremented numbers. And let's try to print this. So I told that map function will return a map object and in order to see the actual values you need to use typecasting and convert this to list or tuple or whatever you wish to do. So I want to convert this into a list. So I'm using list here. Every number in this uh, numbers list is incremented by 1. So 1 plus 1, 2 and 5 plus 1, 6. While discussing about lambda function, I asked to try writing a lambda function to find the square of a number. Let's try to use that lambda function to find the square of each of these numbers. So I'll name the variable squared numbers equals, we'll convert the result into a list and we use map function as we are going to find the square of every number in this list. So the function will be lambda x colon x star star 2. This is going to calculate the uh, square of a number uh, and the iterable which is numbers. Let's print this. Square numbers. Uh, let me comment this for now and uh, run the command. Now we see the squares of each of this number. 1 square 1, 2 square 4, 3 square 9, 4 square 16, and 5 square 25. Let's move to the other function, filter. Filter returns only those elements from the iterable that satisfy the specific condition. And the syntax is similar to that of a map function. The first argument will be the function where we specify the condition that the element has to satisfy. And the second condition, second argument is the iterable. Let's take the same list uh, numbers and return the numbers that are in the range of 5 to 8. I'll update this numbers list with few more uh, numbers. Let me comment this uh, print statement as well. And uh, what do we want now? We want the range of uh, 5 to 8. That means the output is 5, 6, 7, and 8. I'll name the variable filter the numbers equals. I want to convert the final result into list. We'll use the filter function. The first argument is a function. And uh, as we are going to find a simple range, I am going to use the lambda function where uh, every argument will be checked if it is in the range of 5 to 8 x uh, greater than or equals 5 and x less
less than or equals 8. And the second argument is uh, numbers uh, list. So what are we trying to do here is any value that satisfies this condition will be returned by this filter function. Let's print this. Print filtered numbers. And uh, look at the output. Okay, I need to close this bracket here. Now let me run this again. Now we see the items 5, 6, 7 and 8. The other example is you can try to filter uh, the numbers that are divisible by 3 from this numbers list. I'll leave this to you. Uh, let's apply this filter on a list of strings. For example, I have a, a list called names. I have names like John, Bob, Jane. Try to filter the names that uh, start with the letter J. Uh, let me use uh, upper and lower case because I want to show the function uh, other functions like lower and upper. The variable name is names uh, with the uh, J equals a list of uh, filter lambda function. Here I want to check if the name starts with J or not. So, G, and the second argument is the names list. Let's try to print the output. Names with G. We see only one name, John, because we are trying to compare with the, the uppercase J, but we have another name, Jane, which starts with the lowercase J. To convert a letter into uppercase or lowercase, we have few functions, inbuilt functions like upper. What it does is it takes the first character of the string, converts it to uppercase and compares with a capital J. Now let's see the output. We should see two names here, John and Chain. Or you can use lower as well if you want to check for the lowercase j. Now we'll see the same output, John and chain.